You have likely seen the 333 Style Challenge on TikTok and Instagram and here on YouTube. Today, I am going to modify that a bit. Let's see what we can do with just a limited number of pieces from my wardrobe and how many outfits I can put together with those. Hello, I'm Kristen from Kristen Kane Style. Welcome, I am thrilled that you are here. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, we are going to talk about how to take a few pieces from your wardrobe and make a lot of outfits. If you're new here, I will just explain that I'm a style and mindset coach. What that means is that I help women create wardrobes they love wearing by paying attention to all the style stuff and also by looking at how they think and what their thoughts about their clothing and the whole process of getting dressed might be doing to sabotage how they actually look and feel in their clothing. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, you can book a one-hour free consult call. There is a link down below. We'll hop on a call. We'll chat about what's going on with your style, where you're struggling, where you could use some help, and then I'll help you make a decision as to whether or not style therapy is the right fit for you right now. So today, let's get into this kind of mini capsule I have. If you have followed me for any length of time, you know that this is my wheelhouse right here. I have a video from a little while back where I spoke of and shared pink pieces, pieces that are pink that I have incorporated into my wardrobe over the last few months. I'm thrilled about those pink pieces, but you see that none of them are here. When it is time to really boil things down and consolidate and condense and have a capsule that works in a lot of ways and feels most authentic for me, you can see that I didn't include any pink. I didn't intentionally not include pink. It's just that when uh, I kind of challenged myself to this loose uh, interpretation of the 333 style challenge, which I'll explain in just a second, I did not actually pull any pink pieces. I stayed very true to what is most authentic and feels um, most amazing for me to put on my body and to make combinations with, and that is really kind of blues, navies, and neutrals. So that's what I'm gonna work with today. The 333 style challenge, if you're not familiar with it, I do not know who to give credit to uh, because I have just seen it popping up all over. I am not on TikTok, so if it originated there and there is a TikTok creator who uh, created it, I apologize for not knowing who you are. But thank you, because it's making uh, some fun content for me today to create. So the idea of the 333 style challenge is that you take three bottoms and three tops and three pairs of shoes and make as many outfits as you can. I have seen lots of variations on this theme uh, with three tops, three bottoms, three shoes, and then some layering pieces or some outerwear, depending on the season, possibly some accessories. I am modifying it in a couple of different ways. So I have three bottoms. I have a pair of jeans and I have a pair of green uh, kind of cargo pants dark jeans and then I also have the light wash jeans that I have on and I have three tops I've pulled just a creamy colored t-shirt long sleeve t-shirt some navy and white stripes or navy and cream stripes and a chambray shirt I don't wear chambray I don't wear shirts that often I tend to prefer knits so this is a bit of a chance a good challenge for me to see what I can do with my chambray shirt and how I can use it in new ways possibly or wear it more often and then I have three extras, I'll call them. So I have a cashmere sweater uh, that is from Quince that is amazing and um, time to keep wearing it so that when it gets warmer, I can pack it away knowing I have uh, gotten some good use out of it. And then a navy blue blazer. This is from Bowdoin. Uh, most of these pieces were thrifted. This one was not thrifted. Uh, and then this is just a little blouse that has some interest to it, a little bit of... Um, kind of Swiss dotting sort of thing and some little lace patterning. Figured I would, again, this is a woven for me. Wovens without a collar are often easier for me to style. And I can explain a little more about that while I'm trying on these pieces and making outfits. Uh, but I figured if I'm gonna add kind of three extras, I would do the blouse as one of the extras. So I have these three tops, these two pairs of jeans, plus the jeans I have on. And then I pulled two pairs of shoes. Part of the reason is, I'm ready to be done with boots for this season and I am ready to find a couple new pairs of shoes, but I don't have those yet. And so I don't have a whole lot of other shoes. If I were packing right now to go somewhere, I would probably only bring two pairs of shoes, not three. And so I figured I would just leave it at two pairs of shoes since I was already bending the rules a little bit. And then for accessories, I just have this little um, narrow uh, 
leopard belt. And the top I have on isn't something I would necessarily include, although you will see that I could use it as part of an outfit without another layer over it. So again, that's a little bit of cheating, but that's okay. Uh, but I wanted to be able to try the clothing on, you know, kind of real time instead of having to stop the camera and start the camera and all that. So I'm going to keep this little tank on uh, for the whole time and just layer pieces over it. And that's not necessarily how I would wear it. And I'll share that as I go. Not necessarily how I would wear it unless I were going somewhere chilly and needed this layer for warmth, in which case this would definitely be a piece that I would be able to layer under the things that I have here. So I'm going to start just with what I have on and kind of build outfits and then I will change out the pants and keep building outfits and kind of talk through how we do this. As far as jewelry goes, I have little diamond studs on and a paperclip necklace that I got many years ago from Anthropology because I'm not a big jewelry person. If I were traveling, I would probably take a few more layers so that I had some other pieces to layer and possibly once I start building these outfits, I'll grab a couple other accessories breaking away further from the idea of a 333 you know style challenge really wanting to just show you how one little piece or one little accessory can make a big difference and can create more you know multiple more outfits um with just that little bit of addition so first off i will just start with this cream uh t-shirt this has been a, a kind of a workhorse through the winter for me i have layered it under lots and lots of things and uh so this works well for me. I could wear this exactly as is. I guess by rights, probably if I were going to do this, I would tuck all of this in and then just kind of mush it around a little and um, pull it out to give me a little bit of freedom of movement. The only reason I would put the tank underneath this outfit is in case I needed extra warmth. Otherwise, I probably would not wear the tank. I would just do the t-shirt by itself. It's a little bit sheer, but with a nude bra or a darker colored bra, it doesn't really matter to me. So I would be fine with the sheerness and the extra layer would be nice for warmth if I were going somewhere chilly. So this, I guess, would be considered outfit one. I then could certainly layer the cardigan over top. I like to front tuck a cardigan that can be front tucked. And by can be front tucked, I mean doesn't have kind of any patch pockets, isn't way too long, uh, will tuck in nicely and just sort of drape and hang and be fine. If it has too much stuff going on and I can't front tuck it, then I'm fine to leave it untucked. Often if I leave it untucked, I will unbutton it. So this outfit, you know, as is, I would probably slip on either pair of these shoes. I'm not very good at this because feels like I need to create the whole outfit and then stand still and then create the whole outfit and then stand still and I'm not a very good stand stiller. So uh, this would suffice just exactly as is. I could also unbutton this and leave it open. Outfit is exactly the same, but clearly it creates a different look because it opens up the front of the sweater and creates a different kind of line. If I was bringing one of those kind of my floor is sloped, and so the rolling rack just kind of keeps working its way into me. If I were bringing another accessory, kind of cheating a little bit, it would likely be my very favorite scarf. And it is my very favorite scarf because it matches pretty much everything in my wardrobe. So this would easily add, again, more warmth for an airplane, you know, when it can be warm and then cool, and you might need another layer. It could be tied around and used as a sarong if you were going somewhere beachy and tropical, uh, but it would add a little more interest to this very simple t-shirt and neutral cardigan. It would add a little more interest to this combo and would be great. I could also very easily put it on with the sneakers and would feel terrific walking around in the sneakers or the flats. Put on the blazer. With just the t-shirt. I could cuff up the sleeves and show that little peak of yellow if I wanted to. Push them up. I could just push them up. Navy blue, no yellow showing either way. Super easy with the flats. I could also do it with the tiger sneakers and this little lettuce edge sock, cream sock, for again, a little more warmth, maybe a little more comfort. Could also add the cheating scarf. <laughs> Dress it up a little bit, add a little more interest, a little more color. Push up the sleeves, as I said, good to go. If you watch the thrift haul where I shared these Levi's Carpenter pants, I bought these at a vintage sale. I was thrilled to find them because they I'd never seen them before and I have wanted 
to, to have a Carhartt type pant without actually having to have Carhartts because they just aren't super comfortable on me. They're kind of too thick. These are dreamy soft. All of that to say, you might notice that these now have, they seem maybe like a different pair of pants, but they are not. I just dropped the hem. And so this is exactly what it looked like. I unstitched with my seam ripper, the, the hem that had been all folded under like that. I dropped it because I wanted a little more length. The last couple times I wore these prior to dropping the hem, they just felt kind of wide and short and almost like they were little kids pants on me. And I thought, I wonder what, hap what would happen if I dropped the hem, how it would look. And I am beyond thrilled because I love how dark the denim is that was hidden all the way underneath. And I love that they were already starting to fray. So I'm thrilled that I've gotten a little more length. My ankle bone still shows they're, you know, still pretty much a sweet spot for me, but I find them more interesting like this. So I'm thrilled that I dropped the hem. So I could also layer this shirt on over the t-shirt I have on. This is not a look that I go towards very often. I'm not even sure why. I think it's a comfort thing. I think I would always rather have on a cardigan. And if I'm not going to have a cardigan on, I would rather have a blazer on that is comfortable as my layer. And yet there are many women, you know, clients of mine who love wearing a t-shirt under a um, woven shirt. I can't roll my sleeve and talk at the same time. Um, who would wear this shirt as a jacket, who would wear it just like this, sleeve cuffed up or pushed up or rolled up and wear this as a jacket. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. I'm just sharing that from an authenticity standpoint, this doesn't feel as much like me as the cardigan, the cardigan or the blazer. Uh, I like it. I don't have a problem with it. It's just, I would have to be in a situation where I needed more looks in order to pull this. Now I could do this without the t-shirt and just with the little camisole, since we're including the camisole in my little capsule here, I just prop, I, I like, actually, the more I get a glimpse of it in the mirror, the more I think, well, I, I don't mind, the denim on denim, I have no problem with. So I do like the denim on denim and I really have no problem with this. It just doesn't feel quite as authentic as the cardigan or the blazer. So again, I would wear it with this cute little flat. I would also wear it with the sneakers and the sock. I would wear it with a, the sneakers and sort of a patterned fun sock if I wanted to be a little more whimsical. I might put on a couple longer gold necklaces. I'll grab those. Again, if we're allowing me to just grab whatever I want for this experiment, uh, I would probably layer on a couple of necklaces to make this feel a little more interesting. So this is just a thrifted locket and this is my dad's watch chain. Uh, and then I would just keep on the gold necklace that I have on up top. And then it feels, it feels a little more authentic now because it feels sort of finished in a way that I would finish a look where this feels, I don't know, a little clean and a little preppy. I would want a couple more layers. I could certainly put on my scarf. Absolutely. Uh, I don't get usually very tricky with scarves. This is pretty much the way that I loop a scarf on. I could certainly, you know, depending on the weather, you know, wrap it in different ways and tie it in different ways, but that's probably not going to happen. I could also just wear it with the camisole without the t-shirt, warmer location. I could do it with or without the long necklaces. Again, sneaker or flat shoe, just like this, you know, kind of front tucked here. I could tuck it up underneath in the back and pull the points forward and tie it in a knot and wear it just like that. Also, no problem at all. I could pretend I didn't even have the camisole, did or didn't, I guess, depending on the weather, have the camisole underneath it, button it all up. And front tuck it, let the back hang just like that. I could put the blazer over it. Now, I'm probably never going to do this because when I put, I think we need some sticky stuff to keep that from rolling. I always forget till I'm ready to make a video again. This is going to just feel entirely too preppy and I have a collar problem. This just does not work for me. Plenty of women wear, and part of the reason it doesn't work probably is because this is a shawl collar that's just nice and smooth, and this is a you know true pointed collar, um, shirt collar, and they kind of don't lay well together. But even when I find that I have a notched collar on a blazer, this feels messy and like it's in the way. It feels too corporate. It feels too mature. 
It just isn't me. There are women who wear this kind of a combination on a regular basis and look dynamite. So I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying for me personally, I am probably never wearing this combination. If you wear this and you don't have any collar hangups and you have ability to kind of pop the collar and make it work and go, terrific. I'm just sharing for the sake of this video that this combination probably is never going to be one that I wear. I would always repeat a different combination that feels more authentic before I would put the shirt on with the blazer. Okay, now let's get rid of the shirt. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, now we'll go to this little stripe. This is from Zara. I actually bought this in Norway and I do not wear it nearly enough because it's one of those pieces I kind of save because I love it so much. So it's just navy and cream stripe, super sheer. I would wear this exactly as is with the sneakers or with the little loafers. Um, I would also certainly put the scarf over it if I needed more warmth or more interest. I would definitely put the blazer over it because this, there's no competing color problem. Definitely need to do something about that before the next video. Uh, there's no color problem. This just works. There's nothing messy. Even without the scarf, nothing is in the way. I don't have to worry about how something's sitting. I don't have to worry about how it is um, kind of hanging and, and going underneath there. I could also certainly loop on the two necklaces again if I wanted to make it a little dressier and wear it with the flats. Um, I could even wear the necklaces with the sneakers. I'm certainly a big fan of kind of the contrast of the high and low. So this is, again, very much in my wheelhouse. Put it on with the cardigan for a little more warmth, a little more cozy vibe, unbuttoned, great. One button, two buttons, three buttons, however many buttons, totally great. Untucked, front tucked, all the ways. I am, I am truly operating in my comfort zone here. This is the way I like to dress, you know, in general. So if I am packing for a trip, I am taking the things, which I'm not, this is just pretend 333 modified challenge. If I were packing for a trip, when I'm packing for a trip, I take the things that feel the best on me, the things that I know without question that I'm going to feel comfortable in when it's time to get dressed and, and be, you know, traveling and um, doing whatever I'm doing on that trip. The shoes are comfortable. The jeans are comfortable. The layers are comfortable. They allow for lots of different uh, temperatures where I can add layers or remove layers. So this combination specifically is um, a winner for me. This is one that I wear some version of this um, uniform pretty much all the time, even all year long, because when it's summer, I have great cotton cardigans that I put on over tank tops and over dresses because the temperature varies. And if I'm inside and I'm chilly, or if it's evening and it's cool, I want to be able to have a layer and I want it to still feel uh, authentic for me. Hope I don't have to go anywhere after this and accidentally leave two different shoes on. <laughs> and I hope that's not the case. So this is the blouse that I pulled just for fun. I like a, a feminine sort of um, poet, peasant kind of vibe blouse, especially in cream, especially in the spring and fall. So this one, I like the combination just like this. I would do it with a sneaker and lettuce edge sock. I would do it with the flat very happily. This is again, really right up my alley. This is my kind of outfit. Um, I would, if I were cool, you know, if it were oh, not that kind of cool, if I were chilly, I would put on the cardigan for sure. And I think, I don't think I've worn these two together, but I think this cardigan, I have another cardigan that is similar shape that's cream that I have worn with this shirt. I think that I would be fine with this. Sometimes layers underneath of a cardigan or a blazer, if they're not the right texture or the right shape, they're just lumpy and in the way and it's not comfortable and I'm constantly fidgeting and fussing with it and I don't love that. So this, I think you get some interest here. I don't usually love longer blouses, but this, I think there's some interest in having the cream hang out from the sweater. Uh, and so I would totally wear it like this. I would absolutely put on the scarf and I could button it up and tuck the blouse all the way in and then front tuck the, the sweater. I'd be happy with that also. So this combo, if I were going to bring something that felt a little different than a t-shirt or a crew neck sweater, I think this is a nice uh, alternative, nice additional piece. Okay, now I'm going to, uh, first I'm gonna share something. So 
when I've watched these 333 challenges, I see a lot of this. So certainly this adds some interest to this outfit and the colors work. I think that, you know, it's kind of fun to have the stripe up around my neck, definitely adds some interest. And I like the way that it looks. I run into a little bit of a problem when I consider this sweater and this shirt and the, um, the actuality and the authenticity of these two pieces being part of an outfit, because usually I don't just drape a sweater over my shoulders that isn't also functional as a piece in that outfit. And what I mean by that is if it were going to get cold, this sweater I am not putting over this blouse because this sweater is really sheer and I'll show you how. I've never tried this, but I'm assuming it's going to do what I think and be kind of lumpy and strange. So yeah, like I'm, I'm just, it's not that I couldn't if I were freezing and I needed another layer, but I want to be more intentional and that because the sleeve is kind of puffy and has an elastic um, cuff, it doesn't really, it's not quite long enough to stay down or to pull out from the bottom of the sweater. So it just feels lumpy and bumpy and it's not comfortable and it, it doesn't feel particularly warmer because the sweater is so sheer. So yes, I could have pulled a thicker sweater that could go around my neck or over top of this shirt, but I'm probably never putting a sweater over top of this shirt from the standpoint of making a great outfit with it, unless it's a cardigan, because this shirt and the collar and everything just doesn't really lend itself to be worn under a pullover sweater. So uh, while I agree that there is some interest created by putting this kind of a sweater over top of this kind of a blouse, I do you know, certainly see that this looks cool. Like there's nothing wrong with it. And if I'm traveling and I have all of these pieces and I opt one day to not wear the scarf, there's nothing wrong with wearing this and with possibly putting the blazer over top of it and letting this just act as a scarf. I just want to point out that for me personally, I'm usually not using pieces as an extra layer, even over my shoulders, if I wouldn't ever put that piece on my body as part of the outfit, you know, in that combination, if that makes sense. So it's not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just been a lot of these 333 challenges. I've seen that there's a lot of this kind of tying over your shoulders and layering, but those pieces don't really seem like they would layer if you were going to wear them together. So to me, that doesn't actually work. I, I don't, I want it to be more practical than that. I guess I'm more practical than that in general. And I want the pieces to be actually able to be layered over top of the pieces that, I guess what I'm saying is a sweater tied around your shoulder to me is not just for interest. It's tied around your shoulders because at the moment you're too warm to be wearing it. And if it were to get cooler, you want to be able to put it on. And in this case, I would not put this sweater on over this shirt. So to me, it seems kind of foolish to have it tied around my shoulders. It might just be me, but that's how I feel. And I have on these green cargo pants. These are from H&M. These have to be going on seven years old. I've had them a very long time and I have only really recently just started wearing them more often. Uh, I love them. They're a little thick. They're almost flannelly, so they're a little thick headed into the spring. So I am on the lookout for hopefully a thrifted pair that feels a little bit more like the right weight for the next season. So same belt, same shoes, lettuce edge sock with the sneaker, and these little two-tone flats. And I would certainly wear it with this blouse just exactly as is. This completely works for me and is right in my wheelhouse. If I wanted to make it a little dressier, say, you know, for evening or for doing something a little more formal, I would lose the sneakers. I would tuck the, I'm not doing a very good job at that, am I? I would tuck the blouse for the idea all the way in so that it felt a little more put together. And I would just wear the flat and not the sneakers. And certainly I would layer this cardigan again over top of this. So I'm going to do kind of the, the editor's thing and pretend I'm a fashion editor. I could certainly just pull the cardigan over my shoulders like this and, you know, walk around. To me, again, this is not practical. It's not that the outfit isn't cool and if I'm standing still that it doesn't look like, you know, maybe a magazine shoot kind of outfit. I want to be able to move and as soon as I go to reach something or, you know, or I have a bag that I want to put over my body, this just is in the way. So if I can't actually wear it as a sweater over top of the blouse, then it kind of doesn't 
get to be part of my outfit, in my opinion. Um, okay, so again, these sleeves are kind of bunchy. The elastic is kind of annoying right there, and I could do it. But, you know, certainly I could make it work, and I could layer a winter coat over it if it were, you know, if I were traveling and it was cold. Uh, and I like the way this looks. I'm totally good with this. I can completely do it with the flats. I am on the lookout for a pair of uh, traditional ballet flats that are black. Um, I actually kind of want a red pair too. So haven't found those yet, but I will keep you posted. I would, all right, now if we take off this shirt, 